Welcome to Learning AR with Snapchat and Lens Studio. In this course, I'm going to go through Snapchat's own IDE integrated development environment for augmented reality called Lens Studio. First, you're going to want to download this program. It's located at lensstudio.snapchat.com, as seen in my browser. It will bring you to their dashboard page where you'll see a big yellow button that says download. Downloading Lens Studio after you agree to their privacy policy and you're not a robot will eventually lead you to their program. Opening their program, you're going to see a lot of different examples pre-built for you that are provided by Snapchat themselves and have a lot of different objects inside that you can play with to create your own augmented reality. The first thing you're going to want to do is log in to your Snapchat account. You're going to want to hit continue on this page to allow Snapchat to access Lens Studio. Now you'll be signed into Snapchat's Lens Studio with your Snapchat account, which will give you access to pairing your device and publishing your lenses. Lenses are what they call each product of augmented reality. So every project you create is called a lens. Let's click into one of these examples and check out what's inside. Now each project is set up with resources and objects that exist within the lens. You'll also get your project info where you're able to add a preview, an icon, tags for it, the name of it. Now over here we can play with a few settings where it says do not edit or edit me. If we click on this script here which is already highlighted you'll see on the right side you have a few options you can play with. So the base color we can change to something like red and you'll see it immediately affected Snapchat's demos are very intuitive with their variables that you can play with to understand how things work. Now if you want to know how, what's going on behind this script, you go over here to hair coloring, scripts, and then we'll click the hair color controller. It will look like gibberish at first because you may not understand JavaScript or how their program works, but just understand that this script here is powering the hair color and we will get into this further. Now we're going to pair our device to our Snapchat so that we can actually play with it on our own device. It will provide you with a Snapchat QR code that you'll open up your Snapchat app, turn your camera to your computer screen, and then tap and hold on your screen where it will automatically scan this QR code and you'll see a button that says pair. It should detect that your phone has been paired, but if it hasn't, just try again. Perfect, now that my device is paired, that actually took me quite some time. I had to close the project reopen. I went to the pairing and then I clicked disconnect. And then I just tried twice more times. It can be a bit finicky, but ultimately when it is paired, you will not have issues with it. So now that we're paired, you can click push your lens to your device. You'll get a push notification on your device that says your lens is ready to preview. And if you just go on your camera, through Snapchat, tap the screen and scroll over to the icon that matches the one in your project, you'll be able to play with your lens right away. 